We had Storm Brendan a little while ago and we've got some more named weather on the way. Storm Kyra is just around the corner. So we've decided to move the old hens in with the new ones. Jane, rather annoyingly, comes up with her own genius idea and moves a barra nearer the muck heap. Despite my fine engineering of the land bridge, Jane still comes a cropper. Take two, nice and steady, nice and steady. I take over the wheelbarrow duties while Jane goes and starts to rake over the muck, accompanied by Ruby, who deposits her poo in the corner on the rhubarb. So I head back to our open cast poo mine to look for the grass that's supposed to be where muck is. I, of course, completely ace the land bridge. After being fed, the sheep then decide to follow me all the way down to see me top their water up and then follow me back again. With the oncoming storm, Ruby and Mo take refuge in their sty. They're not big fans of weather. Overnight, Storm Kira hits us. Fun fact, Kira is an Irish girl's name and means little dark one. The little dark one has blown over our horse's field shelter and taken the roof off this little shed. No matter, it was time for a redesign anyway. Pick up some of the things that Kira's blown over. And then we look around for hatches to batten. Hatch suitably battened, we go down and feed the horses and sheep. Yeah. 
we put the self-draining trough inside the little shelter so the sheep can eat out of the weather. A branch is blown onto the fence so Jane shoves it off. The three girls settle down to chew on some hay, leaving poor old Reggie outside. Not overly interested in the hay, the boys walk over to Jane on the off chance that a bit of sheep food left. There wasn't. Work beckons, so it's time to put Blue in the car and head home. New day, new weather. While it's relatively dry and I get the RAV started, I move it so we can move the pig trailer. The old trailer's stuck on quite firmly, so I need to go and get a jack to help me lift it off. And a quick repurposing of the land bridge so I can get the RAV nearer the trailer that needs moving. Trailer's now ready for moving, but I'm going to need a hand, so it'll have to wait for a day or so.